Ja, herzlich willkommen zu der Pressekonferenz vor dem Spiel zwischen dem FC Zürich und dem FC Lugano, wo am Samstagabend um halb neun im Letzigen stattfindet. Einleitend vielleicht, Bo, ein kurzes Statement von dir zu den Medienberichten der letzten Tage. Yeah, yeah. But, um, just uh, so everybody knows, uh, absolutely no comments on any speculations. I would love to uh, answer all your questions about everything else, but uh, all the speculation has been, it's, uh, it's everything has been said. The, the president has said what has to be said in this case, so uh, I have absolutely no comments to anything else, but the game. The game. Also, konzentrieren wir uns auf das Spiel äh, vom Samstag. Blicken wir vielleicht noch einmal kurz zurück, Bo, auf den letzten Samstag, auf das Spiel in Genf gegen Servet. Wie hast du das zusammen mit der Mannschaft aufgearbeitet? Oh, but if it was a really, really good performance again. And we are trying to uh, play some good football, attacking football. We, our XG has been outstanding and we're just uh, working on the same thing, so to be even better. At, at, uh, at getting the goals we need, um, and that we are the right pad. We, uh, in my time here, we haven't played as good football as we do now, so hopefully we'll continue. Jetzt kommt am Samstag der FC Lugano nach Zürich, die einzige Mannschaft, die noch keine Punkte abgegeben hat. Was für ein Spiel erwartest du? No, but it's it's uh, it's going to be a, a tough game, like in, in a Soviet as well. We, We know, we know how good they are, we know what they do, we have analyzed them a lot the last uh, couple of days, we played against them uh, in the last game of the, of the season as well, so we know exactly what they do, what they come with. It's a really, really good team, we need to have a lot of respect for them, but we are definitely not afraid, not especially, especially the way we are, we are looking at the moment, it's going to be a, a fun game, it's going to be a game where two teams want to attack and I think it's going to be a really watchable game. Where, Like coming a lot of chances and a lot of um, possibilities in both ends. Good, so we open the Fragerunde. Please wait until Louis has the microphone given you. When can I take the word? Thomas Schifferle. Bo, I must still ask a question. What do you say exactly? Nothing. To which themes? To which speculation don't you want to say anything? About the striker, about the sport chef, about sport director, what what do you mean exactly? About about I think uh, just to make it uh, really 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 easy for everybody to understand. Uh, speculation in the future of mine, of course, is not an uh, issue I want to comment on. Everything else you can ask me. Anything else is not a problem. That must be easy to understand. Maybe not for me. Uh, obviously not. Newspapers. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. No. Weitere Fragen? Vielleicht zum zum Spiel oder zu lustigen Themen? Question to the striker you want for a long time. Uh, if something happened this week, maybe somebody around already or a, a name on a list at least. Uh, of course, we have a lot of. Um, We are working constantly on it, and we, of course our chief scout, uh, Bickel, is, is working uh, non-stop 24 hours a day and see if what, uh, what uh, is possible, what we can find. And uh, of course we are working on on on, on a day, daily business. Uh, but the main thing is we are in no hurry. We have um, we have a, a, a good squad. We have uh, scored four goals the first two games. We have. Uh, We are, we are in a good run in the, in the way that we play. We probably haven't had so many chances like we've had the first two games. So um, I, I'm, I'm still confident, even though we don't have anybody coming in right now. And uh, a lot of things can happen. So it's like a month and seven days, I think, for, before the transfer window closes. And and I have, we, we have no rush. We want to have the, 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 the right profile. We need to find the right one. Uh, we don't have made that many shots at, at, at it, so we need to, um, to to take the right one and, and, and do the right things now. And so, so that's we're really uh, focusing on doing the right things at the moment, and uh, hopefully we'll we'll see uh, before the transfer window ends. Thomas Schiffele. Yeah. What do you mean with right profile? Can you describe that a little bit? Like I think. Uh, 
everywhere in, in, in Europe they want a, 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 a player in who can uh, who is big, strong, fast, uh, fantastic technique, really good man man, can score 25 goals. Um, of course, we we know that we probably won't get all of that, but um, as many of those things as possible is of course the the aim. Um, and um, and then again, uh, we we have to wait until the big club has 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 moved. We need to uh, to uh, to see uh, what is left for 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 us. And that's that's uh, and also maybe we have to develop something. That's that's also a part of it. That's also a part of our the, the feed chain we are in. And um, so um, maybe it can also be a loan. It can be. Uh-huh. All kind of possibilities with an option to buy, and so it's still a good business case for us. So there's a lot of possibilities for us. But but um, right now, even the English league hasn't started. The the, the German Bundesliga is starting now. Um, so so all these things will, will will be a little bit easier to find out who's not going to play because all these teams has 30 players, and and um, they can't play all of them. So at one time they, they they will some of them will find out that they don't play and then it will be easier for us to talk to them. So we have a lot of a lot of a lot of players in, in sight. We have a lot of players that we think is really really good and the wide profile. How many? Uh, many, but but we have like a list. Of course, we have like a, a shadow list for for any position. In in in, in um, also if somebody goes out, we could see last week that it can go quick in football. So we have a shadow list for 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 for, for everything for all the positioning, and um, and I think at, at the moment there is like 120 players on that list. So so in that sense, it's a lot of players. But of course, it has to be the right financial uh, frame. It has to be uh, the right profiles, and it has to uh, to add up also uh, human-wise that we need to get players in that is um, willing to um, uh, be in a project like this because uh, uh, we we need hard-working people, and we need we need the right profiles that can that can help us. And in the best case, it's for free. Of course, that's uh, that's what we, uh, that's that's uh, always a aim. But no, but uh, of course we uh, we have some uh, some uh, possibilities as well. But uh, we, we we know we are, we are, uh, we we have a limit as well. That's 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 how it is for for any football club. It doesn't matter which level it is. Uh, maybe not Saudi Arabia at the moment, but it, but probably everybody else. You're at the part, your sports director. What do you like in this job? No, no, but there's many, many, many good things. Uh, like I've been there for many, many years. Uh, done that in, 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 in the horses as well. And, uh, and um, it's good to see, uh, to, to be able to, um, to talk to the players about uh, their developing, their, their, their plan for their future, their, the way, the way what, what, they, what they believe in, what they want. What their desires are, I think that's that's a really good of it, and of course then then uh, the, the, to to plan the the, the card as well to see what what we can do best in the in the, in doing the transfer window and communicate also with the with the not only with the staff but also with the with the owners of the club, and that's I think it's important that uh, and that line and that communication is is really really good in this job anyway, um, but of course. Uh, uh, right now, we've, it's a lot more work on Beagle as well because Beagle is, is always uh, uh, looking at the players and looking at. Um, so, I think it's that's it's really important role as well. So we're helping each other a lot. We're doing everything we can, and then uh, we'll um, we have so far uh, worked really well together. But do you speak differently to a player as a, as a sporting director or as a coach? No, but it's, it's, it's two different ways, you know, because for me it's important that to, to, uh, to have the full picture. And the full picture is always uh, how can we make them better and, and how can we succeed together. I need to develop them as a player, but I also need to make them understand that uh, what, what is the aim right now and how, what is the goal and what do we need to go to the goal because for, for the players, everybody more or less, they want to go to a bigger club. That's, that has to be their aim. They need to be ambitious. I need them to be ambitious. 
Um, and the club needs that because we want players that can actually be sold. So, so, uh, so in that sense, I uh, there's a lot of things that is like right now, which is for me as a coach the most important thing. The next training, the next game, and then of course there is like uh, the long one, the long perspective on the players, and and that's uh, that's uh, I think that's really really important. Uh, for uh, not only the player to understand, but also us to make a planification and make a plan for them, and see, listen, okay, if you do this, if you score 15 goals next season, then you have to you have to get sold, and that's uh, one of the things it's easy to uh, to say to some of the players, um, and especially the way some of them are playing at the moment. So it's um, it's the same way, but it's it's same same but different, you know. Um, uh, Different, different issues. Where do lie the ambition from the coach? Huh? Where do lie the co ambitions of the coach? If, where the lie? Yeah. Where are, where are your ambitions? Do you want I to be? Want to do you want to come to also to or to uh, to change to a bigger club as a player? No, but listen, we are all <laughs> ambitious, and then now we are coming back to the, to the to the talk we just had for five minutes ago, and uh, obviously you were trying to go in there again, but but no, but, no, no. but we are always but we, we we are all ambitious, and that's what we have to be. I want to win. That's what I said when I came here. I think I had this meeting, end of October, and I said I want to win something, and uh, I still have that ambition. Any questions? You speak about the improvements of your team when you compare it with last season. Can you explain it where in, in, a little bit more in detail? Where do you see exactly the improvements? No, but hey, it's a different, it's a different, um, it's a different way we, we want to do it. Last year we we, uh, we had to we had to uh, change results really really quickly. We had to make a turnaround from the results when I came uh, to not go down like Sian did. We we had to uh, stabilize, and not not, a, not only as individuals but also as a club for for getting the results we needed to uh, uh, get away from the disaster that would be to go down. So. My task last year was one thing: I was to stabilize the, the 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 team, to stabilize the club, to get the the, the points we needed as fast as possible. And um, I want to develop everything I go into, and I also want the, the team to, to develop. We didn't have the time to do that last year, and we didn't have. Um, the possibilities because it was a bigger goal and um, it was a little bit more fragile if, because if we got bad experiences then we saw what happened last year. The spiral just went worse and worse and worse, especially in the first part of the season. And uh, so um, now we have we've had a lot of time to work in the pre-season uh, with what we want to do. We had a lot of work to, to especially with the ball. Uh, to um, make the, the 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 players understand and and make the awareness and make the braveness of the players as well to dare to play, uh, mm -hmm. even when we get under real hard pressure. Last year, they, everybody pressured us high, uh, and um, and it was difficult for us to play our way out of it because we didn't have the time to implantate that. When, because when I came, we had a game every three days more or less, or four days. So um, now we have time to work at it, and, and, and now we can see the, the, um, the benefit uh, of, of the players who, uh, where we can actually make overload, not only in the middle of the park, with Bonisovic coming inside, Arte coming inside, but we can also do it on the sides, when, where, where we can see John Okita, for example, he's coming on the sides, where, where we actually want to play a little bit more. He's, uh, he's more winger as a striker, so we had to change it around. And, and we look more um, difficult to read. We look more uh, efficient, also with the ball, especially in phase one and two. I still need, I still want more people in the box. That's still something we can work at. But um, so we're not, we're not 100% in goal. But we are, we are, we are getting better and better with the ball. And uh, I think we have seen that the first two games. And I'm, I'm actually proud of the way that the players had adapted to that pretty quickly. Um, so um, 
developing is 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 a, is a good good thing if you if you dare to uh, and being brave enough. And I think right now the players are really really brave and uh, they are bought into it really quickly. <laughs> This three four three system is that now your favorite one? I'm, I'm, I think it it looks good to us uh, in in the sense of um, the players we have. Of course, that can change during the during the transfer window or during the season. But right now, I think it looks it fits us really really well, especially with our two wing backs who can come inside of the pitch, who can stay out, they can go deep. We have a fast runner and Runa up front. We have Okita who can go in the half spaces. Uh, so, so it fits us really well right now. Um, uh, so, yeah, at the moment it is our favorite system. But of course, if, if things things can change quickly in, in football, so and and if a lot of people players getting sold or something like that, then of course we <laughs> take the other decisions. But right now, I think we have the right profile. Yes. Um, you told us before the season, Tosin is number one uh, in the attacking zone, uh, uh, Santini number two. But what happens now? You play with Afrie two two games in a row. What are his benefits compared to, to Santini? No, but hey, listen, I think, uh, I think we have a lot of possibilities up front. And that's what I said last time as well, in, 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 uh, before the season started. Uh, and uh, we can play with a half. A false nine, like, and Afri can both play go deep, and he can he can come in the half nine place as well. Like, and I think there's a lot of possibilities for us, uh, especially as we we still uh, have speed on the last line. Um, but to to uh, answer your question, it's it's um, right now Daniel. I think he's done really well, and uh, I think he's he is number one right now at that, that position. Now we get. Tonino back, Magazzano is coming back from injury as well. Uh, he's uh, ready to, to play on, on Saturday already. So we have a possibility more. And last time we played away in, in Lugano, he heard them a lot in the second half when he came on. So, so I'm, I, he is a really, really good possibility for the false nine. Uh, so, so I think we have a um, lot of possibilities, but as, as, a, as, a, as a nine, it's, it's Juni and, and Santini who actually may be fighting for those at the moment. Um, but right now we're not playing with a 2-9. Oh. So, so again, it's, it's, uh, it's what we have uh, available. We're playing, uh, that, that, that's, that, that's the system who we, who, who we try to make up uh, as, as good as we can. And, and, and right now they're doing well. Question to... Um, uh, The player who left to Turkey, sorry, Ali, uh, Ali T. Yeah, yeah. He has a, his situation wasn't good now in the team, or why is he move? Because he was in the team all the time the last three years in a row, or did yeah, you, you have told to him? him. He's, he's you have to call him. No, no, but uh, can you give me the number? Yeah. <laughs> No, no, but but again, it's uh, we we were we were discussing in the, in, the, in, the, in the, of course in the commission like uh, in the board and like saying listen should, should we should we uh, should we sell him or not? Mm. And in the end, we we agreed on on selling him. It was a, a wish that uh, of course he had as well, and uh, a wish that uh, that uh, we had to take into consideration. Um, and in the end, it was a good business case for us as well. Otherwise, we wouldn't have done it. Yeah. So. In that sense, I think he has done well for us, and I think we have to applaud people like that who has done really well. And and, and again, then uh, then we uh, we think we had a really good uh, uh, statesman, what I call a replacement, uh, in 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 Tabella. And uh, in that sense, it was um, it was a win-win for for all. After Tosin and uh, Aliti, do you fear? Any more players who will leave the, the club during this transfer window? Is there something in the pipeline you see already? I don't. First of all, I don't fear anything because there's a, there's a, there's maybe fear is a strong that, word that, in this case. That, okay. That, 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 that. You can't say strong words here. You know, that's, <laughs> that's really dangerous. <laughs> no, no. But uh, no. But I, I, I. Maybe there will come some more. And that's that's just a part of how we are. That's a part of the the the, 
the, the business case of the club. And if, if we get a good, really, really good offer for some of our players, then we will sell. But again, um, right now we are, we are more looking at getting somebody in than out. We still have a quite a good, quite a big group, so I still think that there will happen something, uh, um, um, and uh, there will be something go, somebody going out as well. I don't know who is going to be, and exactly I can't tell you more. But I think before the end of the season, or before the end of the transfer window, at least one or two will come out. And then, um, and then we'll see. And uh, we also need. We maybe we have one too many in the group. And then you know, if we get a striker more in, then of course two has to go out. So in, in that sense, I think there will there will uh, there will come somebody out, and we still have some uh, some also some young players, and so there will, there will come something out of the of the group as well. But I'm, I'm not afraid of it because uh, if we if we sell something, then of course we we need to get somebody else in. How many players are in this group actually? We are right now. We are 25 uh, outfield players and three keepers. So um, in in a group where we don't have any European games, oh. it's one or two too many. Mm -hmm. um, right now we were playing 11 against 11, and we had we had four players uh, on another pitch training by themselves, for like, and then that's uh, of course we don't have that many injuries right now and things like that. But again. We have um, a little bit too many players, and we need to cut the group a little bit. So, so uh, it's better for everybody for the dynamic in the group. One last question from me um, concerning the game in, in Geneva last Saturday. I can imagine that you have seen now the pictures from the penalty. Maybe you like this question. I see your reaction. <laughs> What what do you say now? Oh, but it. I, I I think it's a shame for 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 the for the it's a shame for the for the for the football that that uh, that we have to take this question up again and again and again and again about the the, the VAR system because I don't think it was meant that they were taking up things like this uh, to be honest. But but uh, it it doesn't only is bad for us. It, it, sometimes it's good for us. So in the long run, I don't think that that uh, that uh, that it's that it's. I think it. I, I think it adds up in the end, to be honest. And, and I don't think that somebody, nobody's after us or anything like that. But I don't think VAR was supposed to to uh, take up things like that because it's it wasn't 100% clear. But I, but again, like I said, I think it's important to say that. Uh, That uh, in the end, I think it uh, will add up, and I don't think anybody is after us because it was just like that's football. Sonst noch Fragen? Is somebody injured or no? Suspended? No. No. Hey, we have we have had one yellow, one one or two, one yellow card yeah. in the two Ooh. first uh, two. Cody, Cody, I know it's not suspended. Yeah, yeah. Two yellow cards lost. Was it too long? Ja, okay. Ja gut, dann vielleicht noch folgende Information. Knapp 10.000 Tickets verkauft bis jetzt für das Spiel gegen Lugano. Einfach damit ihr diese Information auch noch habt. Dann wünschen wir euch einen schönen Nachmittag. Danke fürs Kommen und bis zum Samstag im letzten Grund. Thank you very much.